Hey, what is up my friends? Howdy freaking do! Over here taking care of the birds. It's been an insane flood zone lately. It's hurricane season right now. It's real rainy. Every day around three or four o'clock, it just pours. And we're... And it's about to pour right now. So before we head over to Stone's house, I'll show you guys what we got going on today because I got a surprise. Our female Insularis had babies again. Ah, more baby Insularis. Holy crap. So we're going to get over there in just a second and see all these cute little deadly noodles. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. And just to show you guys an update really quick on this flooding situation. We had some crazy rain the last couple days, but as you can see, no flooding up here, which is key. This we're going to finish. Moving all these guys, I already told you guys that whole thing. But look, this is working. So that is awesome. Slowly but surely, there's just a lot of work that involves, you know, elevating all the areas and just filling in things with sand and dirt and stuff. It's just gonna take some time. The tortoises, before they even got flooded, I moved them all into the garage. As you can see, the tortoise enclosure is just an absolute swamp. Even out here, it's a swamp. But that is not what today's video is about. So let's go play with some little baby vipers. beautiful out today here we go oh it's baby time i'm excited uh, i'm so excited so you took them all out of there all right so let me check you let me show you guys what we got going on over here so stone noticed that last week she was looking real gravid and all real the, chunky all the adults are out of here okay so you can here There's all the there. adults are out. yeah all the adults are out and all the babies are in that tub over there Alright, so Stone already has moved some of these guys over. So let's check out. These are my blue and Solaris. And I'm thinking the female that it came from is... Which one? The bigger one? That one right there? No, no, no. I think one of the ones in the back. This back one. Hey, guys. How are you doing? Oh, man. Crazy. So these are all the adults that I have. And they're all in the same cage together except for this one female that we have above that TV vision out there. Oh, this bluer one. But the, all the babies That is a female nice too, blue. I feel like. These are all blue babies? Yeah, they look like they're all blue. Hell yeah. That's awesome. We'll check them out in just a second. Gotta right, make sure there's no more babies in this cage though. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a nice once over in here, man. Cause they could be anywhere. This female right here that we have separated up top, she's a little bit on the larger side. She is the one that that had babies at Chandler's house maybe about a year ago. And those ones were green. Only one was blue. I think there was like five green ones and only one blue one. And that was over at Chan's house. Yeah, one of them is a little turquoise, so he might turn green, but the majority of them are blue. Cool. It was like too high and way up in there and I got him out. There was one like hiding like right on the lip. Mm -hmm. But I think I got him all. So let's check out all these little babies. Oh my goodness, they're so freaking tiny. Holy crap, they are so little. Oh my God, this is crazy. Let's see what we got going on over here. Oh my God, oh yeah, that's the right. green one right there. All right, so these three look a little turquoise, but I mean, obviously these guys over here are solid blue, baby blue. Oh yeah. Look at these little guys. How many is in here? One, two, three, four, five, six of them. Oh my goodness. So cute, dude. Now obviously these guys are live birth. A lot of you guys are probably wondering, you're like, how the heck do they just come out like that? They don't lay no eggs or nothing? Oh, this is a live birth animal. Look at this cute little baby right here. Oh my goodness, you are so adorable. Look at that cute little face. Oh, there's the shot right there. Look how freaking cute that little viper is, guys. Holy crap. Now, they can definitely bite at this size, but for some reason, they're very seldom too. Stone said one of them is really bitey, but obviously it doesn't look like this is the one though right here. Just look how 
Look how pretty that freaking little snake is. I love these things. And now you gotta be really careful when you're keeping them in vision cages because those glass panels in the vision, you can see there's a space in between them and they can just squeeze right out of there. So we wanna make sure that we separate the female, make sure she doesn't have any more babies in there, number one. Number two, make sure there's no more babies in that cage. Number three, make sure these little tiny babies don't get out of whatever we put them in. So you gotta be very, very careful and make sure these are put into escape proof enclosures because they're little escape artists. And as you can see, with their size, they can get in and out of tiny little holes pretty effortlessly. So you gotta be really careful. This is not a snake that you want getting out of your snake room and just being around everywhere. You know what I mean? Finding a little tiny snake like this in a snake room like this. Actually, this would be probably easier to find than my old snake room. You know yeah. what I mean? You don't have like a closet or anything in here. My snake room had all sorts of things to get in and out of the bathroom, all that other stuff. So that would not be fun. The new snake room now is going to be great. Super escape proof. A fart ain't going to be able to get out of that. Yeah, bugs can't even get in here. Nothing. The whole, the key is with these guys is to act like a tree. If you act like a tree branch, you should be pretty chill. You know, as long as you don't go grabbing things. It shouldn't be very bitey. Look, I'm just letting him explore. Hello, you cute little viper. Holy crap, these things are adorable. They are so cute. They're so cute and so tiny. Like, look at that. Such a tiny little creature. Hello. You okay? Hi. How are you, dude? So freaking cool. And now that I'm looking at them, some of them do have like a pretty green hue to them. Some of them might still but, turn out to be green, you know? Yeah. They can still change a lot. You'll be able to we'll tell see. after the first shed. Yeah, totally. Yeah, it seems like that one's like, that one's like turquoise color. He might be. That, yeah, the one I just put down, he's got like green one. super green. These green. ones are super That green. one's got to be blue. Hey, look at this little guy right here. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hey. Don't you do it, dude. He does. Finesse. Finesse King. Finesse. Gotta finesse these little guys. I don't know why I'm whispering right now, but I guess it helps. So we're just gonna leave these little guys in here for now. They can't get out of these holes, right? Yeah, there's nope. no way they can get out of these. See this? They got little air holes on the side of here. There's no way they can get out of here. You wanna keep them moist at first. You don't ever wanna like have fresh babies and then put them on something dry and then they can get all dry and then they'll die of dehy dehydration. You wanna really make sure they stay nice and hydrated for at least the first like three or four days. They're still absorbing everything from their mother too. So technically they just ate, they don't need a meal anytime soon. It's probably gonna be another week before we try to feed them. Yeah, I don't know, we can either keep them here. We could try to go catch some frogs or we can call Mr. Alex and pawn them off on Alex. We could, I think I think these would be great for Alex, you know? Yeah, let will see what he wants to do. He's got all the time in the world. We got babies, we got fresh freaking babies. <laughs> yeah, we don't have like, time for six more got, babies. Yeah, we got fresh ass babies already. We don't got time for more freaking babies, so. And honestly, I had no intentions on breeding these snakes, they just, they're so easy to breed. As long as you have a male and a female together, dude, it just happens to be that way. That I've even had a female, my one lone female that I had years ago that didn't even breed with anything. Dude, she got gravid twice while I had her and I didn't even have any males yet. So not only are they easy to breed, but I guess they can kind of retain sperm or retain something from the male yeah you know, or part, once. parthenogenesis you know yeah you know? I, I, it's definitely seems to be the case with these guys they're just extremely easy to breed which is crazy because they're such a beautiful animal like the bright blue viper so yeah beautiful. you would think these would be like super hard to breed or yeah no they're not they're easy they're so easy to breed put a male and a female together there you go you got some freaking babies they're so freaking cool they're so tiny i just want to play with them it's so bad right such a bad thing to want to do. Like I literally like that's close. 
I wonder what the Venom would do, honestly. I kind of, I know I don't want to do it just because I honestly, I need my hands and I can't like, I can't do an experiment like that right now. But this is not a deadly bike. Guys. Yeah, I've heard it's not bad. I heard- It's not bad at all. I heard one case of guy going to the ICU, but he was bit by, by an adult, you know? Adult. So I like pumped them full of venom. That could be 20 times the amount that one of these little guys will put out. The necrosis, tissue, you know, that is definitely a big factor. I have a friend that got bit in the tip of his finger and his whole fingernail came off. And I don't even think he can grow a fingernail anymore. Look at this guy, she's coming out. Hey. Hello, little creature. Hello, you tiny little thing. Hello, would you like to crawl on me? There we go, let's try this again. You gotta be a little bit more careful there, dude. This is like the raddest thing ever. And it's really cool because you don't have to incubate any eggs. That's awesome about that, you know what I mean? Live birth is the best. Live birth is so cool. Rattlesnakes, a bunch of vipers are like that. It's just awesome. You don't have to incubate nothing. You just put them together, so they get gravid, and then you wait for some babies to come out and you catch them all up. And that's pretty much how it goes. I hope we get these guys eaten. Now the latch batch that we had, we didn't lose any babies. I think maybe only one was stillborn at Chandler's. And then the rest were th thriving and conniving, man. They all eating, they're all getting huge. Actually, I need to go make a video soon about that. So comment down below, guys. Should I go make, I can easily go make a video at Alex's house before I go to work. Alex's house is right across the street from my shop. I think that definitely needs to happen soon. Cause this is awesome. Such an amazing creature, dude. Bright blue freaking viper. It doesn't get colder than that. Not in my book anyways. Oh, it's just too much fun to play with little things like this. Which one should I grab next? I know. It's like, I haven't found, none of them are nippy. They're all pretty mm -hmm. chill. The Even part. the one that was nippy, it was only because I yanked him out of the cage, you know? Right. Yeah, he was probably just irritated. He was probably like, dude, what the hell are you doing? Oh my God, look at my man. He's staring right at me. <laughs> oh, look at him. He is. He's like, yo. He is so intrigued. Dude, he's like, yo, what the hell are you guys doing? Yo, what are your problem? Mind your own freaking business, okay? Yeah, there's more vipers that are coming into this world, okay? It's not all about you, my dude. Even though you're awesome. Get over here. Hey, we got an escaper over here, man. Hey, dude. Yeah. Dude, they all look really blue, though. They all do. They, they all, all do. look really blue. I'm gonna That's say... The thing. I'm gonna say two are gonna turn green. Yeah. And then the rest should be blue. blue. But hey, dude. you never know. Got a lot of little babies, dude. Way too cool, guys. Oh. While we're here, though, Rusty was wondering why it's so st stinky in here. Because normally, bro, normally this room smells really good. Oh, Stone yeah. keeps everything very, very clean up here, which is freaking awesome. Like, so clean. But, as you can see, we got some big old poops in there. And Mr. Russ, his head is, he's over laying on the water bowl right there. So I'm gonna whip him out. I'm gonna get the phone. To old Stony right here. Let's take Russ out, clean him. You know. My dude! If you guys remember the other day, we made a snake video, all right? That was, uh, I don't know, three days ago. Let's see if I can get him out nicely. You can see he's really thick right now because he just ate a python. So I don't want to really mess with him a whole lot. I just want to kind of like nicely get him out. You see, he's super, super dark because he's in shed. The other day when we were here, he was very, very deep in shed and his eyes were completely blue. I didn't even think that he was going to eat, but he ate because he is freaking awesome. So we're just gonna go ahead, nicely move him over to this cage right here. All right, we're just gonna let him go in there nicely. Come on, dude. We don't wanna mess with him and piss him off or even get him the hood up. Look how thick he's getting, bro. Dude, he's like, he's thicker than my forearm is now. It's freaking boy. Nice, bro. Yeah, he's a big boy. All right. Nice and clean, guys. So let's go and get my dude out. Come on. Come on, dude. Come here. God, I love this. The key is with him is you just got to go nice and slow. He's not a mean snake. He doesn't try to bite me or anything. He doesn't really see me as a threat or anything like that. I'm just the dude that takes care of him, you know? He could totally mess me up if he wanted to, but he chooses not to. So 
let's go ahead and get them in this new nice and clean cage. You thick boy. It's crazy how dark he is right now compared to how light he is when he's out of shit. Right. Thick he is with that scale separation right there. Look at those big old scales, brother. Like the size of my freaking fingernail. Look at that. So cool. And then my favorite part is the tail that you can't even fully appreciate right now because it's so dark. But normally, the tails of the kings it just look so freaking cool, dude. Look how long this tail is. You can kind of see that sheen. Like I'm making last tail like that. That means he's a little bit agitated. I'm sorry, bro. I'll leave you alone. Me and Stone are gonna go hang out. I'm sorry. I just had to come here to check on the babies, dude. All right, we're done now. And that is it, folks. Just like that, it is over. Stone, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. On the babies. Absolutely. Well, I guess congratulations to me, but congratulations to you because they're here. You know what I mean? Congratulations to us. We're fathers again. To even Happy more. Daddy. No, we, we daddies. Till next time, guys. Peace out. This is around the time where I would say go get a raffle ticket, but that's over. The raffle's done. Congratulations to the winners. I'm gonna figure out some things. I really want to start painting, and now that I'm gonna have an office again, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna have some getaway time in my backyard. I'm gonna start painting again. Maybe raffling off or auctioning off some paintings, some original Tyler Nolan artwork. Would you guys do? I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. But till next time, we're out. We're gonna go hang out. Peace out. Goodbye.